If you're planning on buying any cards from TCG Player, make sure you use our affiliate link right here in the description of our video to help support the channel. It's the best way to do it and it's free. Make sure you check out Poton Store. They have the new certain shield codes already available and they have automatic email delivery for these codes. You can get them in batches of 50 codes with a slight discount or individually for 89 cents each. They also have all these other promo codes. They have um, every other set you could imagine. And if you use Tailbone code, you get 5% off your final purchase. For the European players, Millibuds Gaming has everything from collectibles to all the latest cards from the latest sets, Cosmic Eclipse, Hidden Fates, and everything from Sun and Moon. Don't forget to check it out and use Tailbone code when checking out in order to get 5% off your final purchase. Welcome back to a brand new day of Road to the Worlds 2020. Thanks so much for joining me today. We are going to take a look at the top 8 Pigram deck from Malmo Regionals by, let me see if I can pronounce this correctly, by Bastian Selmayer. I hope I'm saying that right. So huge props to him for sharing his list. Um, pretty cool list, not super teched out, just straightforward. Four Jirachi, Zapdos, Fiona as a tech for perhaps. Um, Obstacoon, <coughs> no custom catchers either, just double great catchers, so a very aggressive list, double vitality event to hit those cool extra um, 10 damage um, that you might need at some point along with the electro powers, and um, for research with Volkner, so very straightforward list, very aggressive list with the two Coco V trying to play that um, price exchange favorably. And of course, speaker on full blitzing on turn one, that's our goal. No Goose Mahala this time, we only have Stadium Nav and Thunder Mountain. But now with Quick Pulse, we can easily search for Coco Prism, so there's less pressure on our Thunder Mountain. So, very quick explanation, we've played so much speaker on since it came out um, a little over a year ago, to the point where I don't feel like I need to go over Pigram and what the deck's purpose is. <coughs> Excuse me, Tord indeed win Malmo Regionals with ADP Station. Um, Gaming SL, Cinderace deck. I've already featured a Cinderace deck if you want to check it out on my YouTube. And we lose the coin flip, that's okay. We are going to choose this to go first. We mulligan. So, in a weird spot. In a weird spot. Uh, thank you so much for the follow, Safwani. Thank you so much for the follow. All right. All right. So we start with Chuchum. We start up with Chuchum. All right, Pikaram probably one of the best lightning type cards we have ever seen for sure. I reserve. I have a very uh, special place in my heart for Pikaram because of how well I did in that crazy quarter I had last season when it came out and it got like top four at regionals and then I won an SPE and then I guess that was it. But still, like it was, I won a bunch of cups. Like it was really good for me. So I really like Pikaram. I even have it right here. Look. Pigram, Pigram, wow. Weird looking Pigram right there. <coughs> I don't feel like I, I did the deck dirty um, because I completely, I misplayed against Daniel Tavila in top four um, when I could have, not easily, but I could have won. Okay, so do I attach, I feel like I'm just gonna research. I could attach energy and the escape board though. That is a guaranteed switch. Uh, sure. Why not? I was skeptical on the energy. I was just skeptical on the energy. All right. So this is actually looking decent-ish. Okay, I discard this energy. 
I go for a Coco. Ah, my Serara is prized. Okay, so that makes things a little more difficult. I do have three switches left though. So I'm gonna do this. <coughs> I guess I'll play the other Electro Power. I'm not happy losing two Electro Powers, of course. And I'll do that. I'll grab these two. And I'll bench, bench. Then it change away. Yeah, so it's up to the stars if I get a knockout here or not. I do not get a knockout with Pikram, but I do get a knockout with Zapdos on turn one, which I am very, very happy about, honestly. Uh, the weird bug is still there. The weird bug is still there. Do I want a quick ball for something else? Not really. I'm just gonna switch. And I will go ahead and Thunderous Assaults. Taking away access to Jirachi when my opponent didn't do much last turn, I feel like, is definitely worth it. Um, not in a great spot, because I don't have a way to attack next turn, because of this Hefty to Retreat Ghost and the Zero Aura. Because I did have to use the switch, so, because I can't, I can only Voltner for either switch or energy switch. I can't grab both. So, I might just end up having to Teddy change again next turn in order to get an attack off. It's fine though, because my opponent's setup is obviously not great. If he knocks out uh, Zapdos, that's even better, right? If he knocks out Zapdos, that is even better. Alright. Alright. So yeah, Saptus is going down. I am perfectly, perfectly happy with that. I'm not happy that I lost to Electro Powers already. Right? Digging for that KO, but it's okay, I guess. It's okay. Alright. You love Mega Manectric? Mega Manectric was cool for sure. Mega Manectric was definitely cool. I'll turn it now. Thank you so much for being here. How many MLOs are actually in TCG Online, Gabo? I actually don't know. I do not know how many it's worth, but maybe someone else can help you here. I am actually not sure. So yeah, knocking out Jirachi with a 190 HP, either I need to full blitz with my two energies, I mean with my two electro powers, which is not very likely, right? Or... I just full blitz and power up Choo Choo. I think that's gonna be overall better. I definitely think that's gonna be overall better. That is gonna be... Well, not better, just more consistent. Obviously not gonna power up my own Choo Choo. I mean, my own Pikram. I'm just gonna power Choo Choo, spread out the energies. They should be fine. Should be fine. You played Mega Man Electric at Mat 16, your first major event. Nice. Ooh, we see a great catcher, so not gonna go after the Zapdos. Gonna go for the two-hit KO on the Pikram. Which I like, right? I definitely like and I agree with that. It's a more aggressive, you know you only need to KO two tag teams, so that's fine. Um, I still get the full blitz off, which is great. Right? And I can finish off the big team with Zapdos and save my GX attack for Mew3. So that's a big deal here. That is the big deal. Okay, top deck another energy, that's not great. I will grab energy switch and... Should I grab energy? I feel like I shouldn't actually. Thunder Mountain is in there. I'm not gonna grab the energy because I already have three in hand. Alright, so I'm gonna transfer energy from Zapdos. And I'm gonna do this and then I'm gonna full blitz. Not even gonna bother trying to go for the GX attack. I wanna save Lightning Ride GX and my Electro Powers for this Mew3. That's the plan. So yes, I'm gonna lose this guy, and that's okay. And that is okay. All right.
So my plan being really hard here <laughs> about what to do. You wanna see these with Mega Nectar Guy Reserve? That's really nice. Oh wow. Okay, that's understandable but risky, right? Because I can now just GX. Like it, it advances my need for the GX one turn. <coughs> so um, I do have two switches and one escape board left, so I don't know, I kind of feel confident promoting the Jirachi. I need to promote Jirachi and then I change. That's the plan here. Seeing how my opponent is going for it is me too. Oh, but you know what? Without customs, this is gonna be a problem. Ooh, without customs, this is actually going to be a problem. Hmm. So maybe what I should have done is that come for a switch and attacked into Vitini with Zapdos. Well, maybe that's what I do actually. Maybe I attack with Zapdos this turn. Well, no, because then he can snipe the the, the Dene for the game. Oof. I might. I think I'm gonna lose this. Thank you so much for the follow. Um, not sure what language that is. Uh, so sure, I get a knockout here, but like, is that even worth it? And drawing that other thing is definitely not great. Um, wow, Fion might actually be the the card to grab here. Mm, no, because then that's risky. Double Welder Gun. Well, I don't have um, the Dene, so I might as well grab it. Oof. This is not great at all. Not great at all. Okay, so I get Thunder Mountain, I get Energy Switch, I get Electro Power. So what's my plan here? Do I use Fion? What does he bring up if I use Fion? It's just I can't... One kill the Mew 3 after, and I can't target that no matter what I do. Oof. Maybe I just paralyze this turn? How many switches is he down? Seer. Two switches. Okay, that's reasonable. And he can't attach a skateboard. Maybe that's my plan. Maybe that's my plan. Um, or do I just go for the three prizes? If I go for the three prizes and promote Picarum, I might just lose. Hmm, I am not sure what to do here. Okay, I'm gonna go for the KO. That's what I'm gonna do. That's what I have to do, I feel. Oh yeah, and then I can push the Mewtwo back with uh, with Fion next turn. I can't push, I can't even push this one next turn, so... Oopsies. Uh, I don't feel like I'm gonna need Thunder Mountain, so I might as well deny him the fires. I might need energy switch. I feel like I go out into the cocoa, honestly. Energy switch? No, I, I won't need energy switch. What am I saying? So I'm doing all of this in case my opponent resets that to me. I have reset stabs. So my plan next turn is just gonna be to go um, tandem shock. I think I promote Jirachi. Yeah. Promo Jirachi. No, got my Jirachi. He can't. I'm down to three prizes, so he can't use Victini. He has to use Mewtwo. Um, I get three prizes, none, none of which are like super useful at this point. I need to Volkner for the reset stamp and paralyze and hope it sticks. And if it does, then I win. Yeah, if it does, then I win. Yeah, I couldn't bring up a attack team, that's for sure. My opponent could just have. Um, Great Catcher plus Welder, GX KO on the Choo Choo though, that's certainly a win condition for him. But there was no way for me to play around that because I didn't get a reset stamp. I did get a reset stamp. Alright. Alright. Yep, promotes a Mew 3. Or if for some reason um, he doesn't bench another attack team, I can just Fion and win. So, 
My opponent needs to win this turn, otherwise I win. Or at least he needs to either he needs to win or bench another tag team. To tank a hit. So either Reshisar, or Mithri, something like that. We'll see if he gets there. Am I going to Guatemala, San Salvador's SPE or is World's Day to Dead? That's a very good question, Meltra. Without EUIC, because I bombed in Latin America, I didn't get any points, and I didn't go to Oceana, and now there's no EUIC. My day two, my world's direct day two dream might be dead. So I could just like chill for now and not travel to anything. Or I could just hope for a good NAIC run. Well, I'm definitely going to NAIC no matter what. Um, I don't know. That's a very good question. The answer today is I don't know. Um, the answer tomorrow might be Toronto. The answer tomorrow might be Guatemala and San Salvador. I don't know. I honestly don't know. I feel like if I commit to Guatemala and San Salvador, it's because I'm trying to get that, um, that travel award. So we'll see. Yeah, we shall see. Okay, Jirachi. Oh my gosh. Finds a great catcher. Really, it took you that long to figure that out? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh my god. So I lose to the big team. Oh my god. Oh my god, I can't believe this. I can't believe this. Well, he, he did what he needed to do, right? He won. And I couldn't stamp him last turn, so that was a pretty big deal as well. That was a pretty deal. I do feel like I should have attacked the Victini first with Zapdos and forced him to KO the Zapdos. Um, but yeah. Let's jump into our next game. Let's jump into our next game. Uh, Alright. I would like to go first, sure. So I guess I'm taking back everything that I said before. <laughs> no, not necessarily. It's just, I don't know, it's weird. It's weird. I never know. I don't, like right now, I don't know if I want to go first or second. A lot of the time, or not, or what? I actually am not 100% sure. All right. So, attach and pass a Rooney. I mean, I can potentially turn to 200 on one of active, which is not bad. Definitely lack of custom catchers. Could have been something that hurt our chances of winning last turn, last game. But not the biggest of deals, I guess. Not the biggest of deals. All right. There's a quick ball. There's the metal saucer. There's a shrine. There's a switch into ADP. Custom catcher for two, looking for that energy to attach. And not only finds it, but also gets to dead it change. Not bad. Well, I get, no, yeah. So he chose to discard energy and metal saucer before committing the energy to the ADP. That is insanely risky, I feel. Okay, so I really would like to deal a bunch of damage to that guy. And as long as it's not prized, it looks like I will. So that's great. That is fantastic. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, sure. It wouldn't hit on energy as well, so that's bad news. That is bad news. Should have attached the escape board just in case of Absol. <coughs> um 
You know what? I could attack with Zapdos instead. Or I could Fion and get rid of Jirachi or Dedemi. No, I think attacking into this guy is better. I do like having Zapdos though. Oof, this is tough though. Do I just hold here? Like, I don't need to go deeper. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna Thunder's Bolt and then I'll finish him off with Zapdos. And then I'll finish him off with Zapdos. That's the plan. Vitality Band, energy right there, Will GX. That's okay. So I might actually try not to use um, any tag teams this game because now with the extra prize, like he knocks out Coco, then that's three prizes. He knocks out Zapdos, that's two. So if I bench a tag team, him using King K and Zapdos as a tag team, then that's a big deal. Pokemon Catcher. That would have been annoying for sure. That would have certainly been annoying. There's no way he does a GX though, right? There's no way he does a GX, yeah. Alright. So... Hmm. I feel like I'm not gonna need to choose this game. I'm gonna grab the other Coco. Yeah. And I'm gonna grab Coco Prism. And so I'll go ahead and bench, bench, and then go with better change. Okay, so we'll see what happens here. I'll attach here. And I'll retreat into the Sapdos for the KO, which is pretty fantastic. I'm gonna save the Faulkner to reset stamp him. No, or to search for this or whatever. Um Yeah, I'll just dance on the agents. Better to leave them ready than for my point to go something crazy like take away stadium bench 12. That would be terrible. Oh I should have played the Vitality Band actually. I should have played the Vitality Band. Alright! So we'll see what happens here. You read my article on six prizes and wrote that Sinchino Control is tier one. Can you tell why? Well, I explained it a little there, um, but because it's such a difficult deck to play against, and it's like it's it doesn't really care too much about what you have. It's just trying to do its own thing, right? And if it does its own thing successfully, then you lose, which is kind of like Station, you know, which is kind of like Station ADP. Like Station ADP it goes for GX and then it starts following you. It doesn't really care what's in front because it's gonna be one killing. It's gonna be running you over, and um, Seishan ADP and Sinchino Control are the only two archetypes that have gotten tough cuts at um, all the major events, I, I think, so that's a big deal. Okay, so I can search for Titene. I need a full, I need an Electro Power. Oof, that's good. I thought it was double custom for sure. Okay, so I definitely cannot bench a tag team now. But that's okay. And Freddy Card, thank you so much for the follow. Good price for my opponent. I just need an Electro Power to basically win, right? I just need an Electro Power to basically win. I'm gonna go ahead and Quick Ball for Jirachi. And then I'm gonna Radar. Did you see that thinning? For this guy and this guy. Um, don't feel like benching Zerara is a good idea because I might want Jirachi, I might want Fion, you never know. Alright, so there's an Electro Power, that's great news, there's that, there's that, and... Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna Volkner and stamp my opponent, myself. I mean, I have to bring from 5 to 4, I don't know what he has, but... Five cards is definitely gonna be better than. I mean, four cards is definitely gonna be better than five. And it's Panda. Thank you so much for the follow as well. And Kaisel, thank you so much for the follow. Thank you guys so so much for the support. You took the Sapdos out of your Pigram deck for the Hoopa, but you had a terrible cup on Saturday. You ended up with way too many 
You guys are your stable in hand with the tenor of Magnolia being your only supporter. Yeah, that happens to a drummer. That definitely happens and it's annoying. Um, research definitely has brought us back to a situation where uh, we discard a bunch of stuff, right? And it's annoying. Um, but it's also not like you, you just need to play with the fact that you are discarding those things and therefore you can't really use it anymore, right? And adapt your game win condition to, to the resources that you do still have. But I agree that it can be um, it can be annoying. Oh, you went to the stream. That's really cool, Tama Drummer. That's actually really cool. <laughs> All right, so I don't really care if my opponent attacks me, I just win. Everything gets KO'd next turn. And there we go. GG. Not bad, honestly, not bad. With our Coco V deck, because who needed p -crum, right? Who needed p -crum? Yep, there's a victory, very nice. All right, we're on a hot streak. We are on a hot streak. So let's play one last game to close out the stream with Oh no, we're not on a hot streak. I lost last round, oops. Uh, it's Banner Bro, please don't spam the chat. Either say something coherent or don't spam the chat. It's okay to spam emojis, in, like in, a, in one sentence, not a lot, but don't need to type weird messages like that. Yeah. Just be, be civil. <laughs> be civil. All right. I would like to go first, sure. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. Do you know who Smolent is? No, I do not. <laughs> Got a feeling Pigram would adopt double Coco V. <laughs> I. Yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense for sure. I don't know if I got two or one. Yeah, I got two Coco Vs. There you go. I got two. <laughs> Alright, so. Let's focus now. Yeah, let's focus. Triple Electrovar in hand. Not what you want to see. <laughs> Ever, basically. Um, let's go ahead and radar. Away two energies. And there's no way for me to like do anything about it. There's no Marnie, there's no like I can just choose not to tele change, and that's it. Uh, which I'm not super happy about. Still wish. <laughs> Research. Yeah. Not the best. I chose to switch over the skateboard because of Absol. Oh, this is so brutal. <laughs> that is so brutal. And I reserve, thank you very much. That's very kind of you. Thank you so much for using the, the promo code. That's what it's there for. Yeah, that's what it's there for. So I really appreciate you because that tells Potan Store that you are happy that they support me, right? You found, you use the code because you watch me, therefore you found out about the code. So their mark, their advertising through me is working. Yeah, so I really appreciate it. You and everyone who, who chooses to use the Tableman code on Potan Store, on Millibots Gaming, I really, really do appreciate it. Okay, that was a fantastic-ish top deck. Um. Okay. What is that wish for the vitality band? Okay, I need three electro powers no matter what, right? But this gives me. I'm just gonna go for the KO. <laughs> I'm just gonna go for the KO. Boop. Oh my gosh, I misplayed so bad. I should have. Oh no, I didn't. Never mind. I like. It's not likely-ish. Well, never mind. There it is. <laughs> there it is. I'll take it. Um, I will certainly take it. Goodbye, Fion. I do want a Coco. 
I do want to go go. That was that was a really good draw. That was a very lucky draw on my part. And <laughs> I would like to attach my energy to my great cards, yes. And Tag Bolt GX for 290 damage on the turn two. So <coughs> there was definitely not going to be a better situation to use those electro powers. So why not, right? Carpe diem. <laughs> Carpe diem. Um, Deadly B, do I like the format right now? I do. I do like the format. I think it's interesting. I think it's interesting. Uh, seems like my opponent gave up. Gave up on life after that happened, which is understandable, right? That was pretty brutal. Um, that was pretty lucky as well. But yeah, we'll take it, right? We can get lucky sometimes. Um, Alright, so... I guess that will conclude our top 8 Pikram video. Thank you so much for watching, it's been really nice to be back. I'm gonna leave it here a little under 2 hours because I can tell that my voice um, and my throat are like, okay, yeah, chill, like don't overdo it. But hopefully, and I should be streaming tomorrow no matter what, okay? So thank you so much, don't forget to leave a like if you're watching on YouTube, thank you so much for hanging out with me on Twitch if you did and i will see you tomorrow for more malmo decks action where hopefully we will have more decks to check out and showcase right thank you so much and thank you so much i berserk i hope i feel 100 tomorrow as well i will catch you next time Bye bye